Climbing to the Moon is a charming, otherworldly manga. Nasa Yosaki has advice for new parents. Don't give your baby a name like Nasa. His parents thought they were being cute naming him that. But he spent his life being mocked because his name sounds like the acronym for National Aer Aeronautics and Space Administration. So Nasa becomes, becomes determined to make a name for himself and get people to stop making fun of him. He studies extensively to get into a good school. Then one day, he spots a girl he thinks is so cute and he finds himself walking toward her and not looking before crossing the street. Of course, a car comes barreling at him. The girl shields him for the air impact, but she seems okay. Even drunk, she should be going to the hospital. He follows her and asks her to go out with him. She says she will, but she can only be with him if he marries her. He agrees. She disappears, and years pass. Then she shows up again in his 18th birthday, ready to get married. She tells him her name for the first time, Sokasa. Nasa thinks that Sokasa reminds him of the Japanese star of Kaguya. A princess from the moon. It's not clear if Sokasa is an unusual human or if she's some sort of otherworldly being. The manga is full of other space references from Nasa's name that talks about Sokasa's possible connection to the moon. The first boy doesn't tell us the whole lot about the characters but it flows as quick easy read. Mangaka Kenjiro Hata shows off his skills as a storyteller because even drawing the first volume sales so little it easily pulls readers into the right. The unusual story is told in a charming, friendly way, with Hata using humor to make Nasa so relatable from the very beginning. When Nasa gives his advice to new parents, the manga has a warm, accessible feel. The manga also includes multiple short bonus stories, and the short interview with Nasa and Sokasa, an anime adaptation and OVA has been made into the franchise.